Hi, I'm Dave Good. I'm here to tell you a little bit today about how to use your new power vest system. It is important that this is properly sized from the factory. Uh, we'll ask a series of questions to make sure that you have the proper size. If not, it is not going to function properly. There are a couple adjustments you need to know even though when it is properly sized for you. First, you'll put the vest system on. First thing you want to do is fasten the power waist belt. Now, this waist belt, that's one of your adjustments. You can have it on different positions of your hips. Uh, you need to find out what works for you. You do not want the, the waist belt tight. The power uh, waist belt should not be extremely tight. Fasten it as such. Zip up the vest next and fasten both buckles. You have adjustments, much like a normal vest, uh, to tighten and loosen the uh, extra strapping. All right. The next adjustment that you have is on the power straps. And between the adjustment on your hip belt and the adjustment on your power strap, that's how you're gonna fine tune this uh, vest for maximum performance. What the tighter these straps are made, the shorter they are, the more work the vest does. The longer these are, the more work you do as a skier. When I have my vest set up and working properly, as a skier, I'm doing about 30% of the work and the vest is doing 70% for me. So depending on what you like and the performance and fatigue factor you want to endure, this is how you can change that is with, with the adjustment there. So to adjust them, you will simply use this uh, stainless steel slide bar to lengthen in that case or to shorten in this case. Make sure that you always have enough left over uh, so that it will not slip through, but these are designed not to move while skiing. All right, uh, adjust e either and both straps for your uh, desire. And next you wanna do is place your power grip gloves on. All right, now we don't want to have these straps catch on anything while skiing. So it's very, very important that we cover these. And there's a couple ways to do it. One is with a rash guard system, which will cover the entire vest and the arms, or you can use the power sleeves. And these are designed to go over the wrist and finish somewhere here over the elbow, thus protecting this strap from getting caught on something while skiing. power grip glove, which actually grasps the handle by itself. This system is used by Olympic gymnasts. If you watch the Olympics recently, uh, people in the high bar and the rings use this. It's a over center leverage device. And so you can simply, with minimal effort, hold on to the handle. Now, instead of having the load going through my wrist, elbow, shoulders, and back, it's transferred along this power strap, which as you can see, comes up high on the back and the load distribution then transfers that load right down to my hips. So as I'm pulling into a, into a full position like this, the straps tighten, my upper body is completely relaxed. And here are a few power vest tips. Be sure the power vest is properly sized for you. You can adjust the waist belt and power straps for your style of skiing. Always wear a long sleeve rash guard or arm guard over the power straps. And please remember, the power vest is not a life jacket. Let's go skiing. Thank you for choosing good.